AMD's next generation is fast. You can buy it right now in case you want to. And uh, everybody can get a Steam Deck. You want one? You can get one. Let's get into the hot news, everybody. I'm your Brett host. We're going to be going over the hottest tech news that I find on the internet while you enjoy your breakfast. I felt like I was a little tall for that intro right there. Kyla, can you check the camera to make sure I'm like not too tall in the frame? How am I now? You got you got to look. I got to see it. Show me. I was like up here. No, it's because the, it's the chair. It's the I chair. Move this and not flip it back over. Because I forgot. All right. <laughs> Don't ask me about the technical details of how to do hot news. But what's higher than my seat right now is Zen 4's upcoming performance. We're now getting benchmarks coming out from the Zen 4 Epic chips, which are going to be the next gen server chips that tend to have a pretty good correlation with how we understand we're going to get with the regular consumer desktop. And what we're seeing from benchmarks is good. 17% single threaded performance uplift, which is pretty large year on year. This is coming from a Geekbench 5 score with the new Zen 4 Epic chip getting a single core score of 1460 and a multi-core score of 96,000, which uh, is a lot. So that's 17% increase in single core on the 128 core server chip, but then it's also 28 percent faster in multi-threaded applications because of cache changes as well as other things that are going on under the hood. So what we're seeing here is potentially a good indication of what we're going to be getting out of the Zen 4 chips. AMD has kind of really indicated that we're mostly only going to get 15 percent increase from one generation to another. But year on year, that's honestly not too bad. I'm happy to see that. It's good to see the growth. I would like a little bit more. It does seem like when AMD AMD had their Ryzen 7000 announcement. They were hesitant to quote IPC uplift. And the thing they really wanted us to take home was that clock speed was gonna be higher. And that's where the performance increase is coming from. So it's, I don't know, I want more. I think they could give us more but it's not gonna happen this year. But 15%, 17% is happiness. And let me know what you think of Zen 4 having a 17% increase single core score down below in the comments. Will I tell you about Today's video sponsor. Today's episode of Hot News is sponsored by ProtoArc and specifically their EM01 trackball RGB mouse. Yes, my friends, I did say trackball and RGB in the same sentence. This has actually probably been my favorite mouse that I've received in the office in many years. It's been at my desk ever since we got it and I have not stopped using it. Isn't that right, Kyler? I'm always using the freaking Proto Arc. I've used trackball mice in the past, back when I was a wee little lad, before, you know, laser mice took over, and I haven't touched them in probably like two decades. But when Proto Arc sent this over, I was very excited to try it out because it combines the modern of RGB with the ergonomic functionality of a trackball mouse. And I have loved using it for getting hot news ready, for just doing any video editing. It's been incredibly good. And even for some light gaming, the trackball is actually really decent at making sure that you're accurate, but also still quick because you just spin the ball. So you've got the thumb control trackball. You got the RGB light design. It has 2.4 gigahertz USB connection, but you can also do Bluetooth. It it also has DPIs of 1000 to up to 2400 DPI and then a 900 milliamp hour battery with a click life of over 3 million times. And that integrated battery is supposed to last you up to 100 days on a single charge and then you just charge it using the USB-C cable that came included with the box. And it's also capable of controlling two different devices simultaneously with Bluetooth and you just need to press the button in order to switch between the different modes. It's ergonomic, it lasts forever, Honestly, I did not remember loving trackballs this much, but ProtoArc has definitely changed my mind. And then adding that little splash of RGB right around the ball definitely helps to sell the fact that this isn't your normal trackball that you grew up using. It also has an adjustable hand position that's actually really easy to switch between. So you can increase the angle by up to 20 degrees in order to make it more comfortable for you. But it also is great for travel. That's something that I really like is the fact that I don't have to move my hand on a desk. I can just keep my hand in a single place and move my thumb to get to where I need to go on the PC screen. So check out the EM01 Advanced Wireless RGB Trackball Mouse at the link in the video description. Again, big thanks to ProtoArc for sponsoring today's video. But in case you can't wait 
for finding out more about these Zen 4 chips that are going to get announced this coming Monday on August 29th at 7 p.m. Eastern that AMD has already announced the live stream for. You can buy one right now. Kyler, do you want to buy a new AMD chip before it's out for everybody else? No. Oh, okay, good, because it's expensive. <laughs> Anyways, it's showing up on a Chinese black market. I've also heard that it's a Chinese flea market. I don't know enough to validate whether it's a, a, which type of market it is, but you can see the engineering sample right there and the seller indicating that it is a Ryzen 7600X because of the fact that it has six cores and 12 threads. The, the seller had it, the price listed at 9,999 yuan, and that is equivalent to roughly like 13 to 1500 United States dollars, which uh, according to the reports is just a placeholder because if that's true, that's like five times the price. And especially with the fact that these things are gonna launch imminently, definitely not worth it. I went on the site to try to investigate whether or not it could be make for a cool video to buy one of these. Uh, I could not stomach that price, but in case you want to, you can contact them. They have their motherboard that they can show you in case uh, you don't believe it's a brand new chip and they can make sure that you feel comfortable with the transaction. I'm not gonna do it, but maybe you would because you have infinite money, which is because you follow crypto stonks. You, you did it. You got all the money in the world. You are king of capitalism. <laughs> Bitcoin up 2.2% to be at 21,542, having a little bit of dip in the middle of the morning, but Ethereum also up today, 5.76% to be at 16.57, and Dogecoin up 2.8% to be at 6.8 cents. And I'm fed up with Reese because of yesterday's antics that he pulled on UFD deals, naming me Brett with one T, that rat bastard. I hope he burns in an ever loving pit of tire fires and doesn't come back. It pisses me off. That might be an extreme reaction. You know what, Reese? I'm gonna take a second to cool down. You give us the hottest tech deals out on the internet. Okay, fine. I maybe I love Reese and I don't want him to die a painful death just because he called me the wrong name. Don't you dare, Kyler! I will never let you out of this basement again if you write that on that board. He's writing Brett. You better add a second T. Yeah, the one you have to always do one. Are you gonna do a second one? Don't you? Don't. That just says Brett. <laughs> it's not even a T. You're just giving up. Okay, that's fair. I blocked Reese on all contact platforms this morning. I blocked him in WhatsApp, I blocked him on my phone, and I blocked him on Discord, but he didn't know about that. Anyways, what I am not gonna block is Gigabyte trying to come out with this new Aorus Gen 5 AIC adapter because it's everything that I want it to be. You can stick four PCI Express Gen 5 SSDs on this card and then have up to 60 gigabytes per second of SSD speed. Do you know how many PlayStation 5s I could stick this thing in? A whole heckin' ton of them. I want it so badly. It's probably gonna cost a hot penny. It might come with the highest end motherboards, especially with their new X670E motherboards, potentially. I don't think so. Maybe it'll be announced for the next one, but full PCI Express 5.0 by 16 bandwidth. Oh, this gets me, this gets me going. I absolutely want one gigabyte do you want to send one to me i'm not i don't have any good plans for it but i'll use it and i don't have any good plans for a steam deck but i still use it anyways and you can potentially be using yours sooner than you thought with steam deck people coming out and say hey in case you had a q4 window you might actually be able to get your steam deck reservation today because valve has been experiencing production that's outperforming their estimates i think this is one of the first times and i've heard this for any like gaming company in recent history since the pandemic started that they're moving faster than they said that they were going to? Heck yeah! This could also be because Valve put a lot of effort into forecasting properly, making sure people had proper expectations when it came to their Steam Deck. I appreciate it. Also being said that you should uh, you should check and make sure whether or not your reservation came in early and in case you missed their email, there's a grace period for you to be able to get it. Don't worry, you can you can definitely try to get your Steam Deck, but it looks like most people who pre-ordered their Steam Decks should have them. And hopefully sometime soon, we're gonna get to the point where it's gonna be available on the Steam page and you can just pick one up if you so desire. You got a little bit of extra money for the holidays for your loved one? Well, buy them a Steam Deck. I'm not doing it for Kyler, but it's his birthday, by the way. Happy birthday, big boy. Can I go home? Where's home for you, huh? Uh, Is it not here? 
Is not home where your heart is. Don't I have your heart in the freezer? Yeah, I'll just, I'll just stay here. Thank you. <laughs> and just like Kyler's gonna stay here forever, the virtual prison of your mind is gonna be trapped into the v PSVR 2, which Sony has officially announced is coming out early 2023. That's what they announced on Instagram. Thanks for the release date. I could have assumed as much anyways. Actually, I was I was really, 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 really hoping for a holiday launch this year. Early 2023 makes a little bit more sense. I'm excited for it. I really want the PSVR too because I got the PSVR one to play video games, regular video games, not VR video games with the headset on so that I could play them in bed. But then the resolution was awful. The frame rate was bad. It just was not a good experience. I'm hoping the PSVR 2 will allow me to play my PlayStation 5 games in bed so that my wife can use the TV and we don't have to have conflicting screens. You know what I should buy? I should buy that PlayStation TV that came out a while ago, not the PlayStation TV that is the PS Vita in a box, but rather the PlayStation TV that had the different glasses that you could put on so that you could do split screen gaming, but everybody's looking at the same screen at the same time and you put it on. I want that, but for like a, a 50 inch OLED. Can, can we make that? I would I would buy it. It's a very niche product, but I, I want it. And can, can I go on a rant for a second? A rant, if you will. Why do modern TVs not have picture in picture? Like it's not, I haven't, Every TV I've purchased in recent memory, even if it's like a new OLED, does not have picture in picture where you can have two HDMI inputs or a streaming input and an HDMI input. Why is this not a thing anymore? Like, did we just give up? Like once PlayStation 2 and Xbox were over, it's just like there's no more crossplay or couch co-op or whatever. I don't know. I'm, I'm a little frustrated by it, but uh, you might also be frustrated if your AIO dies in your PC. The Arctic Liquid Freezer 2 AIOs have been found to fail due to a faulty gasket that's being found in them. And this is for any one of them that's been purchased from May of 2021 until March of this year. Arctic coming out with announcing, hey, you, you should get this fixed. Either we can ship you a kit for you to fix it yourself in case that's what you wanna do. You can make sure that your model is actually one of the faulty gasket versions, or in case you want want to, you can send it into them and they will fix it for you so that you can get it taken care of in any way that you want to make sure that your PC is not going to overheat and die. But one of the important things that I really appreciate is Arctic saying, even if you do fix it yourself, your warranty still remains intact. Don't worry. It, it's going to get taken care of, which I appreciate. Thank you, Arctic, for number one, being forthcoming about the issue. Number two, actually issuing a fix that accommodates how people want to take care of it if they don't want to send their cooler off for service because that likely will mean that they can't use their PC for a little bit, they can do it themselves and it doesn't affect their warranty. That seems smart. That seems like good customer service. In 2022? I don't believe it. And I can't believe this episode of Hot News is over. I'm going to go harass Kyler because it's his birthday. And so we're going to... What, what, what was your family tradition when you were growing up? What, what'd your family do for you on your birthday? I know your mother birthed you. What else? Um, well, they would do this. They would do this really All right, we'll see you in the next episode of Hot News. Bye.